Thank you very much. A very good afternoon, uh, honorable members of the press. Uh, with me <coughs> is the principal judge of the High Court, uh, the principal judge of uh, the courts of equal status, the honorable Mr. Justice Oscar Angote, honorable Justice uh, Ongaya, and the commissioners of the Judicial Service Commission. Commissioner Mwansa, Commissioner Evelyn Rwande, and of course the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary. We are here to issue a statement uh, on the intimidation and withdrawal of the security detail of Honorable Mr. Justice Ro Lawrence Mugambi. The Judicial Service Commission <coughs> has convened this press briefing of course, flanked also by members of the judiciary to address a matter of grave concern, an action that not only undermines judicial independence, but also threatens the core principles of the rule of law and constitutionalism in our country. As it's now publicly known, Mr. Justice Lawrence Mugambi a judge of the High Court has been presiding over a case brought to court by the Law Society of Kenya and three others against the Inspector General of Police and four others, which is petition number E436 of 2024. That case was filed in court following allegations of abduction or arrests of three individuals. Bob Michelle Nijagi, Jamil Longton, and Saram Longton, who were allegedly abducted or arrested on the 19th of August 2024. This led to filing of a petition number E436 of 2024 before the Constitutional and Human Rights Division of the High Court seeking in order to compel the authorities to produce the missing individuals. Honorable Justice Mugambi, presiding over the case, issued what we call habeas corpus order, directing the immediate and unconditional release of the three individuals. This order has to date not been complied with. Following this, the court summoned the Acting Inspector General of Police to explain the failure to comply with the habeas order or habeas corpus order. Despite an extension granted to accommodate the Acting Inspector General's availability in court, the summons was ignored. The continued defiance in contempt of court proceedings, where the acting Inspector General was subsequently found in contempt and sentenced on the 13th of September 2024. In the wake of this ruling, a disturbing action was taken by the National Police Service over the weekend. The security detail assigned to Honorable Justice Mugambi were disarmed and withdrawn. This deliberate and punitive measure represents a direct assault on judicial independence, an affront to the rule of law, and a violation of the principles enshrined in our Constitution. Article 160 of the Constitution unequivocally protects judicial independence stating that the judiciary is subject only to the constitution and the law and shall not be subject to the control or direction of any person or authority. Additionally, any benefits or conditions of service related to a judge's position 
including their security, must not be varied to their disadvantage, particularly in retaliation for the lawful execution of their judicial duties. Security for judges is an accrued benefit that cannot be withdrawn whimsically. The act of withdrawing the security of a sitting judge following a judicial decision that displeased certain authorities is deeply concerning. It sends a cheering message to the judiciary and indeed to the public at large that those entrusted with upholding justice and safeguarding our rights can be intimidated, that judges can be bullied or retaliated against for their rulings. Such actions erode public trust in the independence of the courts. They also undermine the very foundation of our constitutional democracy and pose a risk to disregard, to, to disregard of our institutions and, and, and the descents to lawlessness. If dissatisfied with a judicial decision, the appropriate recourse is to appeal to a higher court. Indeed, we are aware that an appeal has already been filed and is waiting to be heard and determined. We caution, however, that retaliatory measures against a judge or judicial officers have no place in a democratic society. It is crucial to remember that judicial independence is not a privilege for judges. It is the cornerstone of justice for all citizens. Judges must be free to make decisions based solely on the law without fear of retribution or interference. Any encroachment on this independence puts our society at risk of descending into lawlessness, where the might supersedes the rights and justice is subject, subverted by intimidation. The Judicial Service Commission calls upon all state actors, particularly the National Police Service, to immediately restore the security of Honorable Justice Lawrence Mugambi and fulfill their constitutional duty to respect and enforce the decisions of the courts. We also urge the public and all stakeholders to remain vigilant in defending the sanctity of our constitution and the rule of law, including defending the central role played by judicial independence in protecting our democracy. We take this opportunity to reassure Kenyans that the judiciary will continue to stand firm in protecting human rights, liberties, and the rule of law. Additionally, the Judicial Service Commission strongly condemns this act of intimidation and assures judges, judicial officers and staff that the independence of the judiciary is guaranteed under the Constitution and the Commission is resolute in defending it. That is the end of the statement signed by me, Justice Father Kome, Chief Justice and Chairperson of the Judicial Service Commission. Thank you very much. Justice Lawrence Mugambi is entitled to a police driver and a bodyguard. Those two personnel were withdrawn yesterday. They were disarmed and withdrawn, uh, told to report to their headquarters. Um, all our efforts to get in touch with them to restore the, the personnel to Justice Mugambi were unresponded to. But because we work together under NCAJ, we all serve Kenyans. All the arms of government function together for the service of Kenyans. We continue to talk to them and tell them to restore immediately the security of the Honorable Justice Mugambi.
Uh, these rights cannot just be withdrawn whimsically, as we have said. The security of a judge are tools of trade. They are not just given by the IG. They are given by the Constitution. It is a process that goes through Judicial Service Commission and SRC, and they cannot wake up one morning and just withdraw. Therefore, we are appealing to... Uh, them to restore the security of justice for this world.